Hey folks, Mr. Tolly's back. I have my dye applied. It's really dyed up really, really nice. And I'm really impressed with it. I almost don't want to uh, put a finish on it, but it will. the finish will help with the waterproofing. Dyed the inside. Everything is uh, done inside and out. So the next step is I want to establish folds and you see, I kind of see my line <clears throat> and the way we're going to do that well I'm going to, you're coming along for the ride remember is I'm going to take hopefully this will work out the way I want it to we're going to get that fold line wet And I just have a coffee cup with water in it and a dauber. A little more. You kind of want it pretty wet, actually. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put it right on the fold line. And then I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to take my bone folder, which is, this kind of serves to purpose. It's got a burnisher on one end and it's a bone folder on the other end. And this is just, there. it's inexpensive, bought it from Tandy Leather. And I'm just going to gently fold this up and I'm using the ruler to keep my crease good and straight. So now you can see it's kind of creased up and fold it the rest of the way over. Now I don't want to rub this any more than I have to, so I'm just kind of going to press it down. I still have snaps to install and stuff like that, so, but I want to establish these folds before I get too far along in the project. This is going to get a little loud. I'm going to take my cobbler's hammer. I'm just going to establish that a little bit better. So we're pretty well folded. And that's all the farther I'm going to go with this this point on this side. On this side, we're going to take this bad boy all the way because we're going to fold it, put our snap in, and stitch it. Nothing else is going on this side. This side, remember, is going to have the pockets on it. So we get her good and soaked. And I'm going to take the edge of this is pretty good for creasing and I'm just going to kind of on this one up because since this is going to be the end of it I'm going to crease it now if it was heavier leather I'd take a groover like a stitch grooving tool and I would put a groove in it to make it easier to fold And even though I have the tan coat on here, the water is soaked right in. So it does need another application of tan coat. And like I said, I don't want to rub this any more than I have to, but it does help to establish the bend. Now when I fold this over, I want to make sure my holes line up too. Make 
sure that my holes are staying lined up. of course soaked through and the reason I haven't put any finish on here is because I know that I'm gonna have to touch up all this dye once that with the water dries out of there so I can't do a whole lot more with it right now because I want that to be able to dry without being closed shut once it's closed shut we're not going to be able to do much with it. So we'll let her dry um, probably overnight. It probably wouldn't matter so much, but I am erring on the side of caution. And then we'll put the snaps in on both sides and I'll start getting, I'll stitch up this side and I'll get this side ready for the pockets. So we'll be back. Hey y'all. Um, while I'm waiting for these to dry, I figured I'd start applying my pockets. I can at least get them on there. Uh, I can probably get them stitched down and stuff before I do this side because I want it to dry out. And I'm not one for wasting time. So what I did when I put this one on, this pocket, I measured down from this edge 3 8 of an inch to the top of this pocket. And kept everything nice and even here. Now it's not perfect. But as we go along, we can stretch a little and pull a little and get everything to line up just like we want it. Because um, it is a little bit of a pliable leather. So, I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm going to try to hold this a little bit. I'm just going to push this up right up to the bottom of that one. Line it up on this inside edge. And as I'm, as I'm up there, I want to hold it in place. And I want to take my awl and I just want to scribe a line at the bottom. Now the only reason that line is going there, here you can see it, is so that I know where to apply glue to uh, glue the bottom of the pocket on. But before I do that, I need to score this a little bit and I'm just going to use a sharp awl. And that's just going to give something, the, the glue, something to bite into. I think the term is actually having tooth. And there isn't much to it. So we scribe, score that a little. our contact cement and you don't want to put it on here real thick this is a new bottle so it's kind of going on a little thicker than I want it to now nobody's ever going to see this in here so it's not a super huge deal but try to keep it as neat as you can put your glue down on the bottom part here And it'll take a couple of minutes for the glue to set up. If you used your fingers like I did, take a minute to wipe that glue off so you don't get it on your leather. It will make a mess of your leather. So, I'm trying to rush things along. I'm just going to line everything back up again at the top being careful not to let the bottom touch because it will pretty much stick on contact. Oh yeah, that's why they call it contact cement. So I've got everything lined up on top again. And I'm just going to kind of run my finger down and just push the bottom down. I'm going to grab my cobbler hammer. And you don't have to have a cobbler's hammer 
you need a hammer that's got a smooth polished face on it. Um, if all you've got is a claw hammer, just make sure that face is extremely smooth. We do that. We're going to cut some stitch holes, but to do that, I'm going to go in between and put a piece of thick leather in there. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come up about an eighth of an inch or so. Start making my holes. room for one more hole. And there we go. So all my holes are made. Doesn't take a lot of thread to do this. Um, if you're like me, you probably got a couple of needles sitting around. And Hopefully there's enough thread on there. Get that out of the way. Always start on the inside or towards the inside and move out when you're stitching it. And like I said, nobody's gonna see this stuff. Especially this part. But inside here you'll see that. So it doesn't really have to be perfect, perfect. Let's make it nice. Backstitch a couple here. You said it doesn't, uh, it isn't a huge line to stitch, so pull that through. Cut it down close. Take your lighter. Melt those ends down. And that will seal them so that the thread itself doesn't fray. And it'll kind of lock it in a little bit. And that's it in a nutshell. Now there's two pockets on. I'll get that third one on. And uh, you know what? We'll get with you probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching.